Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Auzubillahi minashaitan rajim. It is with great pleasure that I bring you Ramadan greetings and greetings of happy celebrations of Eid Mubarak. As we come to the final days of this Ramadan season, I am led to reflect on the purpose behind one of the most sacred expressions of community within our faith, the Islamic faith. For 30 days and nights, we participate in the unifying journey of fasting, charity, compassion, and self-reflection, followed by the Holy Prophet wasallam, when the Quran was revealed to him. Through this journey, we reaffirm our faith and strive to engage with the world in a better way. I propose that the solutions to many of the conflicts in Darfur, whether between different Darfurian tribes or between the government and the armed movement, can be found in the spiritual principles we practice during this holy month. The compassion we show to strangers stranded far from their homes, the charity we show to the less fortunate and the less privileged, and the spirituality we try to bring into our daily lives during this month are the qualities we must bring into our political engagements long after the 30 days of fasting have ended and the Eid celebrations have come to an end. I ask that we take this time of compassion and self-reflection that Allah has provided and use it to consider a meaningful way forward for that food. If all sides bring their best and good faith efforts to the table, then 10 years of conflict and war could become the doorway to decades of peace and prosperity for Darfur and for Sudan as a whole. Ramadan Karim, Eid Mubarak to you all. Thank you.